Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you how I contour my face uh, and I'm gonna just explain everything in detail so you have more clarity and contouring doesn't seem scary and it doesn't seem like an alien concept to you. If you're interested to know how I contour my face then please keep on watching. So before we start out, we prep our skin. I use the Dot & Key Hyaluronic Serum uh, which I like so far. So if you saw my Instagram stories, I ordered a couple of things. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm just leaving my username down below. Go follow because I create similar content uh, there which I don't create on YouTube. So I tried a few stuff from there. There's going to be an updated video on that. But uh, after that, I used the Chia Seed Hydro Moisturizer. That's like my favorite one. You all know that if you all have watched my previous videos. So before we start out with the application, we need to figure out where our contour goes. Now I understand that some of you already know but I'm just going to really keep it simple for beginners or for anybody who doesn't understand smack about this, like who's just starting out, okay? So we need to understand that the basic of highlight and contour is, contour is used to push things in and highlight is supposed to accentuate your areas. So if you just feel your face, and you'll feel like a hollow part here okay that starts so ideally your contour is supposed to go from the beginning of your nose and end at your chin you don't take your contour that much but you you feel this hollow that's where your contour goes but people say that your contour should always be a cool undertone because you're trying to mimic a shadow and should you try to slim down your face to some extent i agree because that looks fabulous on on camera actually looks like you have a very strong contour going on but in real life i think it can look a little off not too flattering because uh, if you're warm and you're applying something cool it's just like will look really off on your face go for something warm then it can look like a bronzer a bronzer is supposed to warm up your face a contour is supposed to mimic a shadow so what do you do in this case? I say go for a neutral undertone concealer. So buy a concealer that's two to three shades darker than your skin. I would say go for a concealer that you already use. So if you know your shade in a particular range, then you can just get two, three shades darker than that. That's that. So I'm just taking my concealer. Just a little above, okay? Now since you haven't applied any foundation, you can apply a little more and go a little heavy with it. It's fine. Do is you take any brush, any brush that you want to take that will help you blend better and just start blending the product. Buff it in your skin how you would do with foundation. You can right off the bat say that this already looks more sculpted. But if you see it from here, it just looks so off, right? I What I did is, so I, I don't know if this is the right way, this is just how I do it. I like for my cheekbones to like look like that. Like you know how you smile and you have that line. So I try to mimic it uh, by spreading my contour down. You don't have to do this. Uh, you can just keep it in the hollows of your cheekbones. That's completely fine. This is just how I do it. And uh, if you look from a very straight angle, this looks, this already looks like my face looks more sculpted basically. If you're planning on not applying any foundation or doing any skin work, then I would say skip the whole cream contour part because that can just complicate the whole process. If you know what you're doing, then go ahead with it. I'm using the Dior Forever Foundation. So I'm just taking very little, like one pump, to just show you. And I place it over my contour. Okay. Then you take a brush or your beauty blender, however you're planning to apply your product and just blend the foundation on top. You might be like, oh, you completely hid it, you can't see it. No, of course I put foundation on top, but that area is still darker. So when you do your entire face, it's just all going to come in place. I'm just quickly gonna do the rest of my face and uh, move on to the next part. I actually forgot to apply contour before foundation so I'm just doing that on top, that's fine. This makes your face look really sharp. 
uh, also you can go on your forehead i don't think my forehead needs contour but if you want to make it appear smaller go ahead do it do next is you set that powder contour so you take some powder and just set that area i'm taking my coty espan i'm taking the translucent powder and i'm just setting this area come to powder contouring i use the kat von d shade and light palette it comes with three shades i'm going to take this shade and the shade and mix both and place my powder where i placed my cream contour so you see how i'm making a c nose contour is actually a pretty intricate process to fit into this video if you want me to make a detailed video let me know And I take the same powder and I just put it on. Really shrink the nose and make it look slimmer. What you do is you take any highlighting powder. I'm using Nykaa. Oh, I don't know what this is called, but the Nykaa highlighter. Uh, and just place it in the center with your finger. I think that works the best because you have more control of where you place the product. Personally, on my face, I don't like a lot. So, but I'm still gonna take some. Sure. And that, you guys, is how I contour. A uh, very simple, very easy. If you're someone who's just starting out, and I'm, and like I said, if you're not applying any foundation and you're not comfortable with creams, that's okay. You can just go on and apply powder. But then you can also tell that with the powder, with the cream and the powder, it just looks uh, very strong, very nice. Like of course you can tell that there's contour, but in pictures it will look amazing in real life. Also, this will just make your face look really chiseled. If you like this video, if you like my content, then make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment, share, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.